Many of us have grown up watching some kind of sport, either on TV or at a stadium with thousands. What about watching people play a video game? Well, it's a coin trend globally, and students are bringing their A game to school. Millennials today, you know, their their sport is video gaming. You know, we, we've we've grown up, uh, you know, playing video games, you know, all of our lives, and, and now millennials are reaching the age of, you know. 18 to 24, where they want to, uh, you know, they don't, maybe don't have the time to, to play every day, but they want to watch. Students throughout Frisco ISD are watching what's called eSports, short for electronic sports, with individuals and teams competing around the world for major prizes. This revolution of the spectating a video game and the competitive play a video game, you know, you look at the number of people watching eSports on a monthly basis, and it's almost 200 million people a month. I like watching competitive gameplay to see the strategies that these professional players have so I could maybe adapt them to my own play. Alex and Brendan are two of the three students that founded the eSports club at Lone Star High School. We have a bunch of competitive games, mostly it's CSGO and League of Legends. Other games include Dota, Smash and Smite. We advertise to people, we have practices every Saturday and we have meetings after school during the week where we attempt to organize everything or have been due to the fact that we are a relatively new club. They're lining up in big numbers to play this sport. I did not expect around 70 people to come in and start wanting to just do this. So I had to organize everyone. Gaming has grown from a single person with a single controller. Alex mentions CSGO, which stands for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, that requires players to work together. You don't really have to rely on strategy as much as the other competitive games, but this one you have to rely on teamwork. You have to know what they are doing at all times. You have to have great communication, and one little slip up could just change the whole game. Not all play is running smoothly for everyone. The scheduling is pretty terrible, and I guess it's just going to be a train wreck all the way through. Christina is a League of Legends player for Frisco High School's eSports club. If the person who actually made eSports knows about League, last minute changes of times, and it's going to be like 7 p.m.? Nope, 8 p.m. And then people can't participate, and then there's the thing where they changed it to where it's points instead of varsity, and that's pretty unfair. It's never been done and it's hard creating your own rules and regulations, how this high school, how this um, club can also raise money for itself and also buy with the rules of Frisco ISD. Even Fargo had a hard time getting across the street. Hopefully they'll get past their issues to give players a better experience. For really eSports to reach scale and it to really become the largest sport in the world, we need dedicated teams in a, in a very healthy, ecosystem of esports competitions at the high school level. Companies like PvP Live, eSports News, Score and Analysis site are helping take esports to the next level. You know, you look at any professional sport, there, there, there's layers of how that, of that infrastructure grows. You know, when you look at football, the NFL starts in high school. And that's where the players start learning and, and really playing the game and developing that, that passion for the sports. Basically overall you need to have prior knowledge of the game, how to play a game, a minimum skills of the game, and how great communication skills with your other players. Esports now has its roots in Frisco ISD. There is more to be seen on its growth and viability in high school competition. I'm Oscar Mihangos for Frisco ISD TV.